It's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the donkey of the day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey, man, <laughs> hit me with the heat. Yes, it's the breakfast club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Yes, Donkey of the Day for Monday, February 27th goes to the Oscars. I, I can't put the blame on... You know, Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty. I know people want me to. I can't put this on those two individuals. And it would pain me to have to give Warren Beatty donkey of the day because that's Dick Tracy. <laughs> all right. Not to mention one of my favorite movies of all time is Bullworth. Kids, listen to your Uncle Sharla. You may not have known who that elderly man on the stage was messing up who won the Best Picture Award. But please watch Bullworth with Warren Beatty and Holly Berry. Classic film. Well, at least to me. Now, last night, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway were presenting the award for Best Picture at the Oscars, and then this happened. <laughs> the Academy Award <laughs> Best Picture. You're <laughs> Come on. La La Land. Yeah. We oh. lost, by the way, but, you know. Guys, guys, I'm sorry. No. There's a, this, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Come this is here. not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is not a joke. Moonlight is one best picture. This was so no. disrespectful. So disrespectful, so unprofessional. And I feel like it cheapened Moonlight's win because today, Moonlight actually winning is the B story. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway, the Oscars messing up is the A story. Now, Warren Beatty explained what happened. Let's hear it. I want to tell you what happened. Oh. I opened the envelope. And it said, Emma Stone, La La Land. That's why I took such a long look at Faye and at you. I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> well, you were funny. That Thank was you very funny. much. Thank yeah. you very much. Wow, this is... This um, is Moonlight, the best picture. Yeah. You buying what Warren Beatty's selling? That is not funny, by uh, the way. I am. Uh, I just want to know why would they be handing Warren Beatty an envelope for an award they already gave out? Okay, Emma Stone backstage said that she was holding her card backstage when the mistake occurred. Her exact quote, her exact quote, according to the New York Post, was, "I was holding my best actress in a leading role card the entire time." So I don't mean to start stuff, but whatever story that was, I have that card. Personally, I think this was staged because we live in an era where people like those kind of moments. People like talk. They like chatter, especially on social media. Uh, if Moonlight wins, it's a story. You know, the talk of diversity dominates the news today because Viola Davis won and Cottonmouth, Mr. Ali, what's his first name? I can't pronounce it. He was the first Muslim to win. And uh, Moonlight won one earlier, a couple earlier. The Hidden Figures cast was there, and they had Catherine Johnson. They brought her on stage. Gay people were winning. Uh, the Iranian director who boycotted the Oscars in protest to Trump's babble, travel ban won. So if Moonlight would have had a regular victory, those are the headlines that would have dominated diversity at the Oscars. But being that they messed up, who actually got Best Picture, that's what people are talking about this morning. Not to mention, this is just a distraction to keep us from remembering that Remy Ma body Nicki oh, Minaj <laughs> over the Efe instrumental. All I'm saying is, I don't understand how the Oscars messed this up last night, okay? Last night was the 89th Oscars ever. I haven't been around for all of them, but Warren Beatty has. That's why he knew something was wrong. There's no way in hell that y'all mess up the biggest award of the night. There should be no more envelopes, okay? There should only be one envelope left. All the awards have been given out. You only got one job. Hand Warren Beatty the best picture envelope. It's not like the best picture envelope wasn't on stage. I can't prove it, but somebody purposely wanted to ruin Moonlight's moment. And I'm highly upset that Jimmy Kimmel didn't take that opportunity to say that the Russians hacked the best picture award at the Oscars. So please, let's just give the Academy the biggest hee-haw. <laughs> Not to mention, too, with the Oscars, uh, Casey Affleck, that's how you pronounce his name? Mm -hmm. He beat Denzel for Best Actor, and I'm highly upset that y'all let his sexual allegations that he actually settled out of court have no effect on him whatsoever. Terrence Howard predicted that. He said, you're not gonna, mm -hmm. they're going to steal it from him. But poor Nate Parker at home, because y'all got him out to paint for a case he was found not guilty for uh, 17 years ago. OK, but the biggest thing is, let's not forget, this is all just a distraction, all diverting right. attention away from the fact Nicki Minaj got bodied by Remy Ma over the Ethan instrumental. The Breakfast Club.